Okay, so today I'm taking a look at a Bluetooth headset. This particular headset has retractable earbuds. It's also foldable, which is nice. So on the left-hand side, all you have is the single retract button, but over on the other side, on the right-hand side, you have the retractable uh, button. And then you have your multi-function button. You can answer the call, reject the call, things of that nature. You have your volume, track navigation. You can also, uh, depending on how you press this, you know, you can do an EQ shift, changing the amount of bass. This thing actually has a considerable amount of bass. If you like really heavy bass, that's a nice thing. Uh, you can also uh, do a voice dial, so you can initiate that through a series of, you know, the different ways you press these buttons as well. Short presses, long presses, and things of that nature holding it. Um, it has a nice rubber band on it, so it, well, it's sort of a rubbery type plastic, I guess. It's kind of hard, but not super hard, but it makes it more durable and flexible. So you can obviously use this for voice calls. You can use it for music if you wanted to. I kind of like it for watching YouTube videos because I have a lot of time uh, dealing with some medical uh, treatment times where I don't have a lot going on and it's either sleep or watch videos or watch TV. I like watching YouTube videos with it, a lot of subscriptions. This sounds really good. It is, like I said, very heavily focused towards bass uh, primarily. So you may want to change that while you're listening to music. You can do that uh, via the sliding switch. I don't know how well you'll be able to tell, but you can slide that up and down. So it gets quite loud. It's clear. It fits into your ear really well, blocks out a lot of noise uh, from the surrounding. Every time someone spoke to me, I had to keep taking them out of my ears because it did a really good job of blocking uh, surrounding noises, which is really nice. Actually, it makes for a nice, peaceful, enjoyable time if you just want to kind of separate yourself from the world that surrounds you. A uh, bunch of beeping machines and a lot of people running around during those treatments. This is a nice thing to have. So. It takes about three and a half, four hours to charge, and depending upon whether you're doing music or video, how long you can use it, but they're rating it about 10 to 12 hours. I use it for three hours here, three hours there, so not an extended period very long, but I can use it for several days, so I mean, it's gonna come close to meeting that claim, uh, depending on your usage exactly. So, like I said, you can answer reject calls, change tracks, do volume. Uh, when you power it on, it will tell you when it's connected. It'll tell you if it disconnects. It'll tell you the battery level when it powers up, you know, things of that nature. So it has a lot of features in that regard. So uh, let me show you the other things it comes with. It comes with this user manual. It actually has a quite good user manual, detailed information. So you can learn how to use it in case there's any questions like with the EQ shift or if you want to initialize, uh, initialize a voice dialing sequence where you want it to tell call someone that may not be supported with every phone uh, my phone wants to initialize it but I just canceled it I just not something I do because I have a program that stops calls from going out unless I authorize them each individual one so I don't accidentally dial someone so it just varies so anyway you have a really good user manual you also have a card it's a thank you and a support card so if you have any problems you can contact them with the email address and then take advantage of whatever support you need or warranty of course, you have different ear bud caps, whatever you want to call them. That way you can dial in the perfect size for whatever you prefer. You have your charging cable, it's just a little micro USB cable. Now, I use my own, so I don't use that. And in case I didn't actually show you, it's on the inside. Yeah, on the inside here, it's closed. You don't have to worry about that. And then again, I so said, you got your power button. Oh, this thing has a really strong vibration. Let me see, turn this off. So hopefully you heard that. It has that really strong vibration. So if it's on your neck and you don't happen to have it in your ears, you don't hear it, you should at least be alerted by the feel that it you know, transmits. And then it tells you the battery and that it's connected. Hopefully you were able to pick that up. I could hear it a little bit. I think you probably heard it. The microphone should have picked that up pretty well. 
So, and then again, like I said, you have the retractable uh, aspect of it. So, that's cool. And then you actually have a really nice little uh, carrying pouch here. Of course, you have the zipper here to close it. You have a little carabiner, like an aluminum carabiner. And then on the inside, you have both an elastic and a mesh with elastic. So, it will definitely keep this protected. And of course, if you fold this down, you can actually tuck that in. <laughs> you can actually tuck that in like that if you like. Carry your other things with it in the little mesh area. I don't think you have to carry these, but I guess if you wanted to, you could. So you have a nice little combination of everything you need right there. The box it comes in, not, nothing too flashy or fancy, just so you can see. But I actually like this really well. I've had several of these. This one actually is probably one of the better uh, because it has like the voice dial. It tells you the battery level when it turns on. It has a really good battery life as a whole. Uh, 180 plus hours of standby time, like I said, 10, 12 hours music uh, and talk time. It really varies because the louder you go, the less volume you're gonna, or the louder the volume, the less battery life you're gonna get. Kind of works that way with any Bluetooth device, speakers and such. But you know, nice pouch and everything and it collapses down. But it has a nice build quality to it. And like I said, the way that it blocks out sound, a little better than some of the others that I've had. Um, and I've had some that do like that, that, you know, I didn't like as much. That, well, they didn't do like that. They just kind of hung down and you had to put them back so they had the wire. This one I like because it actually does do that retracting, I should say. Sorry. Long day. But anyway, I wanted to share this with you really quickly. Um, I'll put a link down below the video if you want to find out more about this, but overall, like I said, I'm pretty impressed with it as a whole. Uh, no real complaints. I wish that the buds sat into uh, the portion here just a little differently. There's actually some information about the correct way and the incorrect way to do that, I believe, in the manual um, somewhere. It's like a little tip they actually included. So not only do they tell you how to use it, but they give you a little tips on using it. So anyway, check out the link below to find out more. I think they work really well as a whole. I'm very pleased with them. The link will give you more information if you have questions. Thank you.